As you're already signing in, welcome to my program analysis. Today we are adding Python to the registry in Windows. So this will solve the error that it say you have an installer and you're installing something like Matplotlib and it says you that there's no Python registry. This is the error that this is going to solve. The first thing we want to do is we want to find out where Python is located. So go to the command prompt and the command prompt in Windows is just go click on the Windows button, scroll all the way to the bottom and under system, you should see a command prompt. You're going to want to right click on it and those you see more and we're going to run that as an administrator the screen always blacks out when it asks me for administrator privileges just say yes to it and now we have command prompt open the first thing we want to do is we want to type color 0a because that's an awesome looking color and then we can clear the screen with cls there we go and now we're going to want to set the current directory to the c drive so we'll just type cd and then add a c and a colon and then a backslash hit enter and that'll put you in the directory of the c drive and then after that you're going to want to type where and then python.exe hit enter and that is going to look for wherever python.exe is located on the c drive. and mine is located at c python 34 python.exe so that's exactly what we need to know of course this won't be python 34 if you're using python 3.7 or anything like that I'm not even sure if 3.7 is out, but anyways, leave that open, leave the command prompt one open, don't let it go anywhere, you can minimize it. And now what we want to do is we want to go and again, to click on the start menu, or you can just type Windows button and R to run a program. And the program we're going to run is the registry editor, so just type reg, and then edit. So regit, this is basically kind of what it looks like, and hit OK to that, okie dokie. And now that has brought up the registry editor, so the one that we're going to want to look at, is we're going to want to find the python folder so it'll be either located under the local machine or the current user so i'm going to try under local machine first and underneath it should be, so under the local machine and then there'll be software underneath software and scroll down and it should be underneath p and right there python so if you don't find yours there you're going to want to go not into the local machine you're going to want to go into current user and then underneath software it should be located so mine isn't located there because when i installed python i didn't want to have it installed into the programs x64 or whatever this folder so mine's in a different location which is just fine so go to wherever it is you have it located and then you're going to want to click on again so open up python and then underneath python core you're going to want to click that and then underneath you know, for your version so if you have 2.7 or 3.5 just click that it doesn't really matter then underneath python path you're going to double click that too and then you're going to want to look up and then this is going to be the registry so right click on it and click modify so this is going to, we're going to modify and now what we want to do is we want to go to command prompt of where that we have that command nicely pasted out so we want to copy where your python.exe is and then we want to paste that into value data so control c to copy and control v to paste hit ok and now we should be good to go so now we can close out of the registry editor let's close out and then what we want to do is we want to restart our computer so i'm going to stop recording before i shut it down because i can't record when shutting down so just restart or shut it down that'll work and then just log back in so here we are we are back and logged in and now we're going to want to test it out and make sure that it did in fact add it to the registry so you can use whatever program you want to install. I'm just going to install CX under four screes, not under four underscore freeze, and just open it up. And basically, if it tells you that you have found Python in the registry, you're all good to go, and it has fixed the problem. Hit next, and yeah, I'm just going to install, and it's installing all good and finished. So now we have Python in the registry. So now all the executables and MSI installers for like Matplotlib and skitlib wall work if you guys have any questions or comments about adding python to the registry in windows leave that down in the comments section and if you guys enjoy what we do and this helped you out leave a like in the next video we are going to be comparing the buggy glitchy thing they call windows 10 compared to linux so stay tuned for that and i'll be seeing you in the next video it's your marty out